And what up everybody, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel, the channel to talk about zines and DIY publishing. And if you guys are interested in Gumroad, I know I am, I'm going to peruse through Gumroad and just see what we find. Uh, just trying to get the lay of the land. So things that we'll be looking for is, you know, what are the zines that are on there? What is the process to upload products? And I guess lastly, like, is it worth my time? So here is the Gumroad website. Here's me logging in. I definitely enjoyed this idea of staff picks. And this is when I realized like some of this stuff is going for zero dollars. And I think it's a good way of accumulating emails, also accumulating a, a bigger community that follows your stuff. Like this one right here where it was 12 free poems. I thought that was pretty cool. Here goes the categories they have. So they have quite a bit. If you notice, it's 3D, design, drawing and painting, software development, self-improvement, fitness and health, music and sound design, photography, writing and publishing, business and finance, Education, comics and graphic novels, fiction books, audio, recorded music, films, gaming. And a lot of that's cool, man, but I think comics and graphic novels is the intersection we're looking for at the moment, even though my mind really did go to like, you could sell your movies this way, you can sell your, you know, homemade records this way. So they had staff picks for just full blown comics. There also is a tab for zines. So I hit the tab for zines to see what there was. And this is what came up. So Endless Monday was one that I hit because I thought it was interesting that there was no set price. It was it was set to be free. And when you hit it, it basically tells you that whatever you see fit to pay for the zine, for the art, the creator is more than welcome to take it. There was also a link there to her storefront where she sold stickers. So there you go. Name a fair price. And so the link takes you to her shop where she has other goods that she sells. And so when you log in the Gumroad, so you can start posting items for sale. It tells you join over 153,000 creators who have earned over 857 million. So that's pretty damn impressive. So they have preset kind of uh, markets. Digital products is one. Courser tutorial is the next one. They also have ebooks, newsletter, memberships, audiobooks, and lastly, they actually have physical goods. So, as you can see, I find it very interesting that one, you can put the zines up there for free, but still connect it to your shop. The other thing that I really liked is that there's a lot of zines there like Bat Celine and uh, Eddie the Office Goblin and other zines that I like that I've purchased myself like hard copies of that are on there. And there was other more interesting zines like that Jack Tober zine, which I thought was a very interesting idea for a zine. Like why don't people make their Inktober uh, art into zines? I really blazed through the information they gave you about uploading the products because it seemed straightforward enough. I don't know what I'm going to upload there, not too sure, but it's going to be something and I'm going to do that sometime this week. Just once again, to cast a wider net, there's a lot of zines on there. So it's not like something, you know, that is going to be new there. You know, some might even say that it might be a little oversaturated, but that means that people are going to Gumroad looking for zines, looking through it all just to read zines. And I think that having maybe a free a page comic zine on there for people who are trying Gumroad or checking it out makes sense as a way of casting your net because 
I know I downloaded some free stuff because I was, you know, there on Gumroad and I said, well, I don't want to leave empty handed. And like I said, that brings brand awareness for those creators as well as it also works as a segue into their actual shop where they can sell you like hard copies. One thing that I also noticed though that kind of had me a little bit, I didn't really know what to make of it was that you can sell uh, like hard copies. So it's not only digital. So something that to look into. Bar, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lights.